Namaste and welcome to this beautiful winter day here in the deep forest of Quebec. And thank you so much for sitting with me, with you, and divide attention. And in this occasion, it's actually not a class, it's actually an invitation. I want to talk about India and I want to invite you about our India retreat. I want to give you some highlights so you have a little bit of an idea of what we do during 21 days in paradise, beside the beach, with the palms going, the coconuts fresh, with lots of the wisdom and sharings of this beautiful land. So it has been now our 10 year going to India in this program where we have partnered up with the ancient wisdom of Ayurveda. And I love Ayurveda because of the body of knowledge that is associated with the feminine. It's, it's the body of knowledge that is not only have survived for 4,000 years, but it's also alive in this specific area of India, in Kerala. And is very wisely and beautifully represented by the doctors that I have partnered up in, in this uh, program. So let me talk to you a little bit about Ayurveda and how as a teacher and as a seeker I found indispensable to work with the body because sometimes the knowledge of spiritual teachings can get stuck in the head. It never descend into the matter. It never descend into the earth herself, which is you. Right? We have talked about that. You are Earth. And the five elements get deprived from the actual experience of spirituality. The actual experience of expanding, letting go of what is not needed, and acquiring the new flesh a spring of your inner knowledge. Nothing really is given to you except the space where you can relax, go through certain body treatments every day. You go through certain body treatments, through meditation, through breath work, through yoga, through proper food, through cultural exchanges, through other environment, through walking in the beach, seeing the sunset and sunrise. You, we open the space with the proper tools for you to relax and to let go of the obsolete. Naturally, the life force start adapting, adopting the new expression in you. And for that, we stimulate certain vocabulary so you have the language to relate to what is new in your life. In this specific retreat, we are teaching the yoga of consolidation. I'm going to open the opportunity not only to experience it, but also to train you how to do the yoga of consolidation. So who knows, you may in your life at one point want to teach others and share powerful tunes that transform the very, the very core of the feminine and the reception of life itself. We, I am also um, making this retreat very intimate. I'm not going to have a crowd. I'm going to have just selected students who are able to um, be more in contact, more crafted every day with the teachings and with the opportunity. Naturally, the first step is to go through the doctor. She will take your pulse, she will talk about what body type you are, what kind of um, medicines and treatments you need for the 21 days and after because she doesn't let you go that easy. And um, so you're very tailored of whatever 
uh, disease and easiness you have in your body can start being supported from a perspective that is natural, that is effective, that is gentle, and that is daily. Then we have the meditations, which are very specific about um, healing and it's about relaxing and it's about connecting with this part of ourselves that we have not honored it and that they are kind of screaming to be seen and to go into the flow of life. And the meditations use the breath, of course, because it's the more powerful healing tool we ever have, with certain specific um, rhythms that we call pranantology. And with that, then it, it adjusts the different um, elements in your body, the fire, the water, the earth, the, um, the ether and, and the, uh, the earth. So with that, what I found quite profoundly in, in our Indian program is that you are actually immersed in a cultural it's not like you're a tourist seeing India from the outside. We are actually embraced by a community and a beautiful families that for years have um, made their home. I don't want to call it a, a, a a hotel, it's not a hotel, it's a homestay and they really treat you like a brother, sister or mother. They just live to make you happy and to expose of the culture that they are so proud of it. They just want you to experience India and India is the vibration of the spirit, is the compassion, is the giving, is the is the generosity of um, be um, just selfless. It's, it's, it's such a, a beautiful people, a beautiful land with so much to offer. So it's not easy to get to that point in India because India is 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 multifaceted. You go there and the first thing you see is, oh my God, it's a lot of of noise. It's it's a lot of people. It's a, a, a different uh, rhythm and so on. But when we are with Indian people, it's a complete different experience, more conducive to the gentleness of the heart, to the openness of the heart. So I, sh I, I just invite you to come to India in whatever year that resonates, that is possible for you. Because as a seeker, we do need to open cellular space for new light to come in. And why not using the ancient science and art of Ayurveda? Thank you so much for sitting with me. If you have any questions, just write to me or to any of our team and we'll be absolutely <clears throat> delighted to um, answer any questions or doubts you have. Namaste. <laughs>